Hello boys and girls, it is time for our reading lesson. So for reading today, we are going to review um, the A-I and the A-Y and the sounds that these letter combinations make. We're gonna tap out some words that include those letter combinations. And then there's a little reader for you to read, which you can definitely read on your own. Don't worry, I believe in you. And there's a little worksheet to go along with it too that helps you review just the sequence and the order of events in a story. Okay, so that's what we're gonna focus on now. So first, let's review, like I said, A-Y and A-I. What do these letter combinations say? What is the sound that they say, A-I and A-Y? A, right? They say the long A sound. And something we like to do in class, right? When you have the A-I and the A-Y, you go A, and you do that with your arm, right? A, okay? So that just helps us remember that A-I and A-Y say A, say that long A sound, okay? So now we're gonna look at some words. We're gonna tap out some words that include these letter combinations, and we're gonna blend them together to read the words, okay? We only have five, so pretty simple. Unfortunately, Clifford is not here to do it with us, but that's okay. So we're gonna review these words and then I'll tell you about what you'll do for your worksheet. All right, so let's start with this one, nice and easy. So remember, the letter M makes a sound and then A-Y, even though it's two letters, it only makes one sound, okay? So get your tapping hands ready. Here we go, start with your pinky and we go, I'll see if I can hold it and tap at the same time. Here we go, we go M A. May. Very good. May. Excellent. All right. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. Now this one has AI, but AI makes the same sound as AY, right? Yeah, it sure does. So we're going to tap this out and we're going to see what this word says. Okay. So get ready to tap. Hand flat. I'll move this so you can see it better. <laughs> and get your pinkies ready. Ready? So starting with the letter P. P A D. Paid. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Paid. All right. Okay. Let's do a few more. Okay. So now this one has a three consonant blend up here, which is also tricky. So we got to say each of these sounds and then our friend A-Y. Okay, so let's tap that one out. Ready? S-P-R-A-Spray. Very good. Spray. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Okay. Got a couple more. All right. Here we go with this one. Again, uh, we've got A-I in here, which says what sound? Hey, <laughs> very good. All right, so let's tap this out, starting with the P and then A-I-N-T. Here we go, ready? Get your tapping hands ready. P A N T. Paint, very good, paint. Excellent, all right, one more. One more, here we go. All right, so let's tap this one out. Remember our A-Y. And that's gonna say A. All right, so here we go. Letter D first. And don't forget, there's an S here at the end. Sometimes, a lot of times, AY is like that's the last part of the word, but sometimes there's a little bit more, like there might be an S or there could be an ED ending. And so we wanna make sure that we add that sound on at the end as well. Here we go, ready? D, A, Z, days. Days, like days of the week, our song that we sing all the time. Very good. Okay, so now boys and girls, let me tell you about your worksheet and your reader. So you are gonna read just a little story that is called A Fox Tale. This story is in uh, your binder. It's in with a paper clip attached to it. Um, it's attached to a math sheet as well. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that but just look at the reading. So the reader is called a foxtail. You are gonna read, um, it's four little pages. You're gonna read those pages, read the story. You'll read it one time just to get, to, just to practice and to know the story. Then after that, you are going to read 
it a second time. Um, and you're going to look at your worksheet at this point too. So you'll read it one time, just just reading it, just hearing the story. Then you're going to have the other worksheet there. And the instructions at the top say, reread a foxtail. So you'll read it again. It says, use the numbers to tell the order of the events. So you're going to write one if the sentence and picture tell what happened first. Write two if the sentence and picture tell what happened next. Or write three if the sentence and picture tell what happened last. Okay, so it's going to give you sentences and pictures to match, and then you have to order the events. Say, oh, this one happened first, this one happened second, this one happened third. Okay? Then, so that's part A. Then part B says, work with a partner. Now, you don't have a classmate to work with, but maybe you can work with a parent. Um, but it says, read the passage aloud. So you're going to read the story again. So this is the third time you're reading the story, okay? Okay and pay attention to the intonation. So that's pay attention to just how you're reading and how it sounds. And stop after one minute, okay? So you're gonna time yourself for one minute and then you're gonna fill out the chart. So you're gonna write how many words you read. Maybe you finished it, maybe you didn't finish it in that one minute. Then you're gonna write the number of errors. So the number of times that you may have made a mistake. Remember, mistakes, are proof that you are trying. Mistakes show that you're trying. So if you make a mistake, don't feel bad about it because it shows that you're trying and that you're learning. And that's what's most important. So then you can do the words read minus the number of errors and that equals the words that were correct total, okay? Then you're gonna read it another time. So this is time number four. You're gonna read it another time. You're gonna, um, same thing, time yourself for one minute. You're gonna write how many words you read. Maybe you got you read more the next time. Then you're gonna subtract or take away the number of errors that you made. And then that will show you how many words you read correctly. Okay? So that's what you're doing for reading today. That's it. There's another, there's another worksheet on the back, but that one you don't have to do. Um, you can if you want to, but it's not required. Okay, so that is what you will be focusing on for reading today, okay? So you're going to see lots of AI and, a and AY words, of course. Um, and you might see some of our sight words for this week in the story as well. So make sure you're looking out for all of those. But then you can uh, just read the story and complete the worksheet. And you can bring that, put it back in your binder. You can bring it the next time we are at school, okay? The math pages are only for if we don't have school Friday, okay? So just hold on to the math pages and we'll see what happens, okay? All right, boys and girls, great job. Keep working hard. I'm very proud of how well you are all doing. You, We are like at 100 days of school and you guys are definitely 100 days smarter. So you've been doing an awesome job and working really hard. All right, boys and girls, enjoy the rest of your day.